Unite for Impact. In partnership with Justice Institute of British Columbia, Center for Digital Media, and our team, Simunation. Welcome to Simunation's Sheriff's Recruit Training Project. Meet the creative minds behind this simulation project, joined forces with JIBC dedicated to shaping a safer future for law enforcement training. With diverse backgrounds and a shared passion for innovation, we're committed to revolutionizing public safety education. In this transformative journey, our mission is clear, to develop an immersive simulation tailored for recruit sheriffs. Our primary goal is to enhance their critical thinking and decision-making capabilities, crucial skills for navigating emotionally charged situations in the courthouse. By leveraging cutting-edge technology and integrating principles from the MDM program, we've crafted interactive scenarios that empower sheriffs to make sound judgments effectively. Witness how we're redefining public safety education, one simulation at a time. Sheriffs encounter emotionally charged individuals and unpredictable incidents in the courthouse, posing a daunting challenge. Initially, our team faced unfamiliarity with law enforcement and simulation design, resulting in confusion while creating features for critical thinking and decision-making training. However, these challenges ignited our growth mindset. We devoted significant time to in-depth research, gaining insights from face-to-face -face interviews with law enforcement professionals and studying features in similar games. This allowed us to draw from relevant experiences and create a more robust foundation for the project. To overcome the hurdles, we embraced innovation and collaboration. Leveraging AI technology, our technical team conducted extensive research on categorizing user responses and implementing randomized response techniques. This breakthrough enhanced the critical thinking training for sheriffs within the simulation. Our project manager skillfully organized workshops, fostering improved team collaboration and mutual understanding of design priorities. Co-creating with our clients allowed us to streamline the project's direction and specifications, resulting in an effective solution that aligns with their expectations. The fusion of cutting-edge technology, research-driven insights, and collaborative efforts culminated in an immersive training experience that empowers sheriffs to sharpen their decision-making skills in a safe environment. Attention all units. Registry has called the suspect John Doe, born August 12, 1978. He is a mid-age white male, approximately 6-0 inches to 6-1 inch in height, wearing a blue shirt and beige pants. Please respond and take the individual into custody. Over. In this comprehensive training simulation, sheriffs can immerse themselves in a tool designed to prepare them for real-world law enforcement scenarios, to practice critical thinking and decision-making skills. With full control over scene exploration, sheriffs can scan and assess the environment by clicking on various elements, experiencing the complexity of law enforcement situations firsthand. Throughout the simulation, sheriffs interact with NPCs, receiving important information like briefings from dispatch. Active listening is crucial for making informed decisions. Facing crucial choices based on given keywords and NPC interactions, sheriffs shape the outcome of each scenario, honing their judgment and decision-making abilities. Relevant background information is displayed as text, assisting sheriffs in making informed choices and understanding the context, a crucial skill in real-life law enforcement. NPCs react to the sheriff's decisions, providing a more realistic experience and enhancing their understanding of the consequences of their choices. At the end, the simulation generates a detailed decision log, facilitating post-training debriefs and self-improvement analysis, empowering sheriffs to learn from their actions. With this powerful training tool, sheriffs develop their skills, becoming confident and responsible law enforcement professionals. The project aims to replicate the real-life situations that the sheriff often encountered, such as managing emotional distress to individuals at the courthouse registry or adapting to an unpredictable situation in the courtroom. Our team is really diverse in terms of skills, meaning there's also diverse perspectives as well, which 
causes some disputes within our team about design priorities because each person focuses on their tasks and specialty. By adopting a more open and collaborative work approach, we extend our workshop sessions, which helps resolve discrepancies and strengthen the team cooperation. Um, for instance, as one of the 3D artists in the team, I'm more familiar with Unreal as the game engine. However, consider our client's hardware situation, we ultimately chose the more lightweight and white-based software called Play Canvas. To conceptualize the design and also um, align the expectations we are with our client to cut the uh, power from the art, tech, and design. So we worked um, within the team, we worked um, on the several brainstorming sessions to come up with this design. We decided to switch to free textile questions and then we used an OpenAI API behind the scenes to map the user's input to their corresponding actions. This allowed us to steer the scenario and generate more realistic character interaction while leaving the questions open-ended and maintaining a useful level of difficulty. We faced so many challenges and constraints, of course, but we didn't let them get us down. We embraced those limitations and learned that art of making informed trade-offs while still nailing that top-notch output. To overcome these challenges, we devoted significant time to in-depth research, gaining insights of the application of critical thinking decision-making in law enforcement. Additionally, we also personally visited a courthouse in Vancouver and conducting face-to-face -face interview of of the record sheriff to better understand the real world scenarios. I was quite impressed with uh, many of the presentations, especially when the team was forming an accessible solution with a two and a half D characters and the environment the design um, that would uh, help us to uh, see the entire courthouse. Of course, right now we're focusing on the registry room, but I think the solution the team provided for the entire uh, uh, project is, is generally quite impressive.